Hello, is anyone out there? Oh my gosh, holy shamrocks, people. You know, I'm never going to be able to catch up on all of these on all of these comments. And today we have zero lux given. So I got this uh, just today, actually. I was trying to decide, was I going to go on today? And I was like, I, I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. It's not sponsored by Lucky Charms, but <laughs> oh my God, look at everybody. Texas Twister 6, you are the very first one. Hey, Mutt Nut. Hello. Diamonds and Dew, A-K-L-K. Did I, did you change your name? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Kel, what's up, girl? We got Elise and we've got, who else? Oh, Kim got a new groove. She does. She does. Hello, Robin. Hello, Denise. Hey, Carol. Um, let's see. Oh, I got to make sure and silence my phone because I know inevitably something will happen. Um, hello, Emma, Kathleen. Hello, there's Laura. What's up? Anxiety Art Adventures. We got Courtney and Kat and Tammy Short. Hello, Sarah and Amelia Pug Mom. Guys, I can't believe it. I just seriously, I was like, mm -hmm. Should I, shouldn't I? And then I knew there was probably a phrase that you would want to hear. So I'm going to make you wait because I'm, I'm just a little bit late because uh, I decided to do a last minute giveaway. That's why I was like, hmm, who's feeling lucky today? So I hope y'all are. So towards the end, I'll figure something out and we'll do a little giveaway thing. I'll take these off. Oh, it's amazing how much better I can see without my green glasses on. All right, let's see. Um, hello, Sherry. AH Diamond Art. Hello. What have you guys been up to? How's it going? I uh, I was going to wait and see if my buddy Elizabeth jumped on here. Hey, Jen. Um, because I have to give her the latest update on my big family size boxes of Lucky Charms. So if y'all didn't know that, she actually sent me four family size boxes of Lucky Charms. And I'm going to tell you where I'm at. And then my girl Katie sent me four boxes of the Just Marshmallows. Because what did we want when we were kids? If you're a, a Lucky Charms fan, we wanted extra marshmallows. Oh, my gosh. So Katie got me two boxes of this, but I used all of them. So I now have three boxes that have two pouches each of Just Marshmallows. And it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Oh, let's see who am I missing. Hello, Sue. Hey, Berta. How's it going, girl? I hope you guys are doing good. Oh, I'm sorry, Mutt Nuts. That sucks. I decided that um, I'm gonna keep it keep it good today. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about anything today. So I'm just I don't know. I uh, I had actually ordered my little headband here and my Zero Lux Given shirt. Um, last night yesterday yeah so i didn't know if they were going to even make it here because amazon said it could be there by 10 p.m and i'm like well that doesn't help if i go on it too so i was lucky today i was a wee bit lucky you see what i did there <laughs> who else do we have sarah she said that is amazing lucky charms are the bestest yes they are i mean they're still you know i've said it before they are still magically delicious the only other thing that I think is magically delicious or delicious. So when I went to Ohio to the Great Lakes Escape Retreat um, last year, it was so much fun. And so um, I can only eat stuff that doesn't have gluten. I'm sure most of you know that. But um, there was like this big space in this kitchen at the back of the room. And so people baked things. They brought candy. They brought everything. And there was some stuff that I'd never seen before. So whoever you are, if anybody ends up watching this and you're doing the replay, put the hashtag replay in the comments. Or if you're on here now, somebody got me hooked on something. I don't know who brought it. I'd never heard of this before in my life. I know what's wrong with me. So um, I had never heard of these. And I know that um, Shay and Kel and Abigail um, I'm trying to think who else knows. There are a lot of people. I know Chris, like Chris and Kel, um, they know. But I sat down and they were these little packs. 
And so whenever I was looking at the little packs, I was like, what is that? And then it's like cracktastic. So if you don't know what Sour Patch Kids are, <laughs> they're amazing. But the watermelon is my favorite. The watermelon's really good. I still haven't tried grape. And I'm trying to think what other flavor. Um, I can't remember. The strawberry is good too, but the watermelon is like oh, the best. And so this is, what does it say? Share size. And I found some, I think it, I don't know, HEB or one of the grocery stores. Maybe it was like Tom Thumb that's a um, like mega size or something. <clears throat> and so um, I got that and it's even bigger, believe it or not. Let's see. Okay. All right. I'm not missing anything, am I? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, that's right. Laura says positive green vibes today. Absolutely. Hello, Miss Melanie. How are you? My little diamond and dogs. Kel, she said, I kept getting up to get you more and more and more. <laughs> that's right. See, she knew exactly what I was talking about. They're in like the little packs. In fact, I found some of those that were like bunny shaped that are the regular ones. And so I got some of those when I was at the store, but the watermelon, oh my God, they're the best. Um, like I said, I haven't tried grape. I can't remember. I tried to look them up. So like what, I'm going to be 53 this year and I've never tried a Sour Patch Kid. I've been missing. I've been missing out. <laughs> Does anybody else like Sour Patch Kids? And if so, which ones are your favorite? Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Tammy, she says, I'm not big on dry cereal. Sorry, girl. I'm telling you, the weird thing is, as a kid, I always had stomach problems growing up. I always had stomach problems until one year. I can't remember what year it was. It's been, I think, 15 or 16 years that I realized that I can't have gluten. Some doctor was talking to me. I'm like, yeah, man, I just never know. It's like my stomach is just so wishy-washy. And he's like, so have you ever had any allergy tests for like lactose or gluten or whatever? I'm like, what's gluten? He's like, you know, wheat. So of course I had the test and life has been so much better without it, but I loved cereal. And since I didn't know that back then you eat, you know, as a kid, you're eating cereal bars, cereal, like all the carbs. So, um, yeah, when I saw as an adult that Lucky Charms is now gluten free, I was like, hello. And I like chocolate checks too. anything that's bad for you. If it's sweet and a fake carb, like a, a gluten free carb, then I probably like it. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Hello, dip in time. How's it going, little lady? I hope that you're doing good. Yeah, Sarah says, I love Sour Patch Kids. Green and yellow are my favorite. You know what, Sarah? I typically don't like whatever, like in candy, green flavor, you know, whatever the flavor is, like if it's lime or something. Um, but I do kind of like the green ones in this. And of course, green M&Ms are good. Um, and what else was I thinking of? Oh, uh, uh, Green Apple Jolly Ranch or little hard candies. Those are good. I haven't had that in a long time. Hello, Lee. Lee K. That's right. Everybody's saying hi to kill. You know what I need to do? I'll put these on one more time just because I got them. Let me see if I can see. All right. Oh, you know what? It actually helps. That's so weird. I don't have my uh, corrective glasses on, but I have them next to me. But if I look at the comments with this, what does that mean? <laughs> That's right, baby cake. She says the gluten-free gang. She can't have gluten either. So everybody's saying hi to dip in time. Yes, I know. I'm telling you, Melanie, sugar, it's, it's really bad. Like how much I crave sugar, like anything sweet. I mean, some people say, oh, I have a sweet tooth. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like I could eat sweets all day long every day. Um, oh, Muttnut says, love the s'mores, lucky charms and the fruity ones. Huh? I don't know. Everybody's saying howdy Lee. Everybody's saying hello. So what's going on, you guys? How's it going? What, uh, what are you up to? What are you working on? You can see that I'm working on my same painting over here, but it looks really good. I'll have to, I'll pick you up and take you over there in a minute. I'm, I'm, it's very slow going, but it's looking really good. The bling on it looks really good too. Hey, Lisa, how's it going, girl? Thank you for joining us. So yeah, I was just telling everybody, I, I don't know, flying by the seat of my pants. I, I kind of thought I was going to bail out on doing the live today, even though I kind of talked about it, but then all my 
the garb came in. So I was like, all right, I'll do it. It's a sign because Amazon showed up before 10 p.m. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see. Yes, everybody's glad dipping time's here. I hope you're doing good, little lady. It's been quite a while since I've seen you. So I know you're so sweet. You always introduce yourself and you're like, I'm a dip in time. And I'm like, I know who you are. <laughs> Hey, Carly, what's up, girl? If if y'all didn't know, oh, and there's Alyssa too. So the diamond painting accountant and Carly A, I had the pleasure of actually meeting them in person. Gosh, I'm trying to think if it's been a month already, probably, maybe even a little more over a month where um, they were in town. And so Shay and I and, and them and um, Carly's husband and Tima and her husband, um, Cheryl, I'm trying to think who all was there. Somebody's going to be like, hello. And then Lou, um, Shay's daughter was there too. She's really sweet. So it was good to see everybody. <laughs> she says, butter, I adore your accent. You know what I always say. People either love it or they think that you're just dumb as a stump. So sometimes I have to prove them wrong, right? Just because you're from Texas doesn't mean, just because they put all the people on the news that are like, clueless. That does not speak for everybody. Um, baby cakes. I'm glad to see you too, girl. I love you so much. She's been sending me real sweet messages and I barely, I'll get back to her every once in a while, but you know, you know, you're one of my peeps. Um, Kel, I know she says I'm working on my third Hannah Lynn cross stitch DP conversion. I don't have the guts to do that y'all. I mean, there's no way. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. But I respect the people that do. Hello, Cindy. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm so caught up. I mean, I know there's only like 40-ish people in here, but still, I guess it's because I skipped down. So y'all don't give me grief about that. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Muttnut says, I sat in diamond painting for 20 plus hours, did not go to bed till 6 a.m., but got two 30 by 40s done. Uh, one was some owls and the other one was an octopus in a bubble bath. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah. White rice. What was the thing the other day that I was thinking of? Cause it was something like, it was something like white rice, but it was like two things together where you said something that's like right or white or hot, whatever. And it made me laugh. Cause I thought about you guys <laughs> giving me crap. Uh, hey, April, happy St. Pat's Day, St. Patty's Day to you, too. <laughs> You're so funny. Hey, Melanie Perryard, how are you, sweet lady? It's good to see you. Yeah, Worcestershire. I still can't say it, Laura. I still can't say it, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, Tammy says, I couldn't do a cross-stitch conversion, wouldn't even try it. Um, isn't there math involved and like you're looking at an iPad and then you're, no, that, that would be bad for me. I would not be good at that. So, <laughs> uh, all right. So I'll, um, I don't want to show you my little giveaway stuff. It's not a lot. Like I said, I was trying to just do something last minute because I was like, Ooh, look, lucky. I got to try and find something to give away. So let me unplug you. I'm trying to clean up in here and it's a hot mess. So. Let me see if I can bring you over here without making you nauseous or what have you. Let's see here. So here's my little, my little guy. I'm kind of covering up the light. Man, I'm not doing a good job, am I? Right there. So I'm doing like some glow ones in the chest. You can see that. And then I've got like a whole bunch of bling in there and... I don't know if you can see the areas where I did like a mixture of the um, bubbles. I, I can't remember what they call them. It was before Tima had had uh, put bubbles on her site. And I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, uh, mermaid tears or maybe mermaid. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. I got them on AliExpress a, a long, long time ago. So, all right. Um, where did I put my glasses? Glasses so I can see y'all. And y'all let me know if you see Elizabeth with Enablers Outpost come on here. I can see. Because uh, I want to be sure and, and give her the Lucky Charm shout out. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, it's so good to see your beautiful face too. Hey, Cats Gallery. 
Thanks, Sarah. She said, lots of beautiful diamond paintings. Hello, Michelle. Carol said, I told the hubs I had to head to a live and he asked who. I said, Randy, and he said, who? And I said, white rice, and then he knew exactly. <laughs> oh, man, I still get crap about that. I love it. It's all good. Um, let's see. It's good to see you, Jeanette. Hello. Liz oh, Elizabeth's out of town this week. Dang it. Okay, well, she'll probably watch. So Elizabeth Inslee from Enablers Outpost is one of my one of my friends. And this humongous box, this family size box of Lucky Charms. She sent me four of these. Do you want to know which box this is? Yeah, I'm after me Lucky Charms. This right here is the last of the four boxes. And I've already done, where is it? It's down to here. I've already done two bowls. So now I have all the marshmallows and I need to get more Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weakness. It's a sickness, y'all. I don't know why I still love it, but it's so good, especially when you put all the extra marshmallows. I'm like, hello. Oh, let's see. Dip and time. Might need to find a seat by you so your talent rubs off on me for bleeding up. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, I had to... Um, I had to step back with the um, bling the damn thing. But now there are all kinds of people that have jumped on the train. So I'm sure you can find somebody that will, um, whatever their services are called now, there are several people. So just saying, just saying. Oh, it's their anniversary, Kel. Okay, well, then I specifically have to say, Happy anniversary. I hope you guys are doing good. I miss you, Elizabeth and Edward. I hope y'all are having a good time. I hope you're getting lucky, Edward. I hope she's not being, you know, just tell her how it needs to be. <laughs> you guys have to know. I know them really well. That's the only reason I can say that. <laughs> Linda says, it's always good to see you. I just love watching you. As always, you are missed when you're not here for a while. I just love hearing your accent. Linda, thank you so much. That means a lot. I miss you guys too. I'm trying to slowly get back into it. Um, I just, it, I'm going on one of these kicks where I guess I keep coming across and reading things about, you know, um, I don't want to say downsizing, but like, you know, with all the things that you have, just kind of you know, consolidating and not having a bunch of junk or whatever. So I'm like, hmm. So I started with a bunch of diamond paintings and I'm just kind of cleaning up and doing all that stuff. Um, and then I don't, there's so many, so many little things, you know, uh, let's see. Morgana banana. What's up? Oh, she's got notorious MBH. That's hilarious. I guess it's been that long since I've seen you Morgana. Cause I haven't, I haven't seen that on, on the back part of your name before. So it's good to see you, girl. Let's see. Yeah, Morgana Banana Hammock. Is that what it stands for? <laughs> hey, Jay Lee Lee. How are you? It's good to see you. All right. No problems, Lee K. You get out of here. And uh, if you can come back, then feel free. I'll be here for a bit. Hey, Tammy. It's good to see you. I miss you, too. <laughs> I hope y'all are laughing at what I just said, because I thought some people might be offended. I don't know if you know somebody well enough in here. And <clears throat> there are some of us that are particularly fond of crass humor. Uh, not me, though. So I think they understand what I meant to. Billy, it's so good to see you. You guys, if you don't know Billy, I love her. I have a soft spot for her. It's so good to see you, Billy. I just I adore you, lady. I hope that you're doing good. Please tell me your secret on how to downsize. Well, if you don't have ADHD, it's probably a lot easier, but I'll go to start doing something and then I'll be like, mm. but th literally me yesterday, I came in here to diamond paint and I'm like, well, I'd already kind of looked to see if there were some diamond paintings that I wanted to de-stash or whatever. So I'm, I'm just now looking. So y'all don't be contacting me like crazy going, what are you de-stashing? I don't know yet. Um, but I went in the other room in there and there's this little file cabinet and I haven't used it in a long time. So I'm open it looking for post-it notes. So I find a couple of things in post-it notes. And then I see this little, um, it's like a post-it note dispenser. So I bring it back in here and I'm going to put the post-it notes in there. And I realize it's only for the ones that are like 
it's like accordion style. And these are just regular post-its. So I was like, well, crap. So I go and put it back in there. And then um, I found, now I haven't used these in a long time. Well, my grandma, my sweet, beautiful, wonderful grandma was alive. I made a, a scrapbook thing for her and now I have it and I love it. But I didn't realize that I had all these um, like special scissors that cut different shapes, you know? So I found these three things of scissors. Y'all probably know what it is. I'm not super crafty, but like it cuts that shape. So I found those and I was like, ooh, I'm going to bring those in here because I'm going to use those to journal. And so then I put those over here and then I came back in here and I'm like, what was I doing? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I have this tiny file cabinet down here. So I might as well look and see what's in there. I mean, it's a mess. So now there are still diamond paintings everywhere and I'm not finished yet. Does that, does that mean anything to you, Laura? So no, I cannot help you <laughs> learn how to downsize. Oh, Tammy, it's okay. Usually um, when people try to spell my name, it'll either go to, um, what is it? Ranger, Ranger, or it'll go to, um, I'm trying to think what else. I think Ranger is the main one when people try to put my name in, even if they spell it right, then spell check who hates me corrects it. It's good seeing you too, Morgana. Dipping time. She says, talking about lucky, maybe Elizabeth will help Edward find his 207th bone in his body. <laughs> Best comment of the day thus far. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Laura says, uh, I can't decide what to de-stash due to FOMO. It's true. It's so true. And I haven't bought a diamond painting from anywhere in a long time. And so um, I actually saw one on Diamond Art Club. I was looking to see if I have it here. Put in the comments, and it's not a leprechaun, um, put in the comments what you think the new diamond painting is that I got. I'll say it was last month. I think it was last month in February. Yeah. So put, put in the comments what you think it is. And yeah, here it is. And then I'll show you. Do I have a rip in my shirt, y'all? Do I have a rip? Maybe. Oh, maybe it's just something on the screen. Oh, I didn't show you, did I? Okay. All right. Melanie says, I don't have ADHD, but I have perimenopause brain and focusing and downsizing and decluttering is super hard. That's right. So you couldn't even say one thing. You had to pick like several things. <laughs> yes, Alyssa, it is organized chaos. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I need to pull everything out so I can see everything, get distracted and forget what I was doing. Man, <gasps> Kaden, you guys. Hey, Kaden. It's our little high school graduate. I know he graduated. It's been a while, but still, I just, I miss him. I love you so much. Thank you. You're gorgeous, Kaden. You're gorgeous. I don't um, get on social media that much. I know some people have tried to friend me on Facebook and I'm hardly on there anymore, but I do check Instagram because there's some really funny people on there that, you know, make me laugh whenever I need something to laugh at that I know I can always go there. Um, and I see Kaden every once in a while. So I love you. I miss you too. Hey, Diamond Paint and Cajun, what's going on? Jeanette, you only have one? Hmm, maybe you should reach out to me. Maybe you should contact me. I'm just saying, not, I'm not telling anybody else to contact me. I'm just telling Jeanette. J just a possibility here. Um, she says she only has one. It'll take her 10 seconds to uh, downsize. Let's see. Nope, it is... I'll give you a hint, Jay Lily. So I used to love Hannah Lynn. Like she was my number one because when I was doing shading and coloring um, with colored pencils like Prismacolor and all that, I would color. That's how I even found out about diamond painting. Hannah Lynn was one of my favorites, but I've kind of, I don't know. I still have a couple of hers, but I've kind of outgrown it. So it's not Hannah Lynn. It's, um, in fact, I think I want to show you. I think this artist is, this artist is new to me. This artist is new to me. And you know, if you know me, that typically you can see I like paintings of people, if that gives you a clue at all. Uh, there's zero looks given, if you guess it or not. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. 
Uh, no, it's not Margaret Morales either, Melanie, but I love Margaret Mor Morales paintings. Let's see who's saying hi. Sweet Caden saying hi. <laughs> Jen, you have now um, usurped her. You have the best comment um, of the day of the, the comments. She says a dolphin heart one. I forgot the name. No, it is not. But it is kind of ironic that you said that. Because when I was cleaning out this little file cabinet, let me show you what I what I found. I laughed so hard. I don't think Steph is here. She's another one of my friends. But if y'all, oh, I didn't mean to. Sorry, Kate. I uh, I don't know if y'all know how I feel about dolphins, but if you know me, then you kind of know. So I think it was was it for my birthday or just a sweet gift? I don't know. So my friend Steph sent me. The face to face with dolphins book. So uh yeah, I still have it down there. I still have it down there. I haven't looked at it. I haven't really looked at it. Let's see. Oh, there's some whoa. Oh, okay. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> uh, but here, here are the sweet babies, the sweet dolphins, until you get to know them, <laughs> until they come up behind you. <laughs> uh Okay, let's see. Hey, Chaotic, what's going on? Vanessa, you doing all right? I hope you're doing good. No, it is not moon magic, but do I have, I have moon goddess. I don't have moon magic. All right, y'all are still guessing. Um, everybody's saying hi to Caden. All right, so nobody's really guessing. I guess there just aren't that many people that care, so I'll show you. This has been months because I had to look and see how long it had been since I bought a diamond painting. Um, I'm trying to think who the last diamond painting I even purchased from with. It could have been, it could have been Jaded Gem Shop, Shimmering Canvases. Who did I buy the last diamond painting from? Um, yeah, I don't remember. It may have been Jaded Gem Shop, but I'm not for sure. Or maybe it was a DAC. All right, so... Y'all may be surprised, you may not. Can you see that? It's kind of golden. I don't know who this Eau Claire studio is, but oh my gosh. I think they put her um, finished on their website. And I was like, oh, I love that. I have to have it. And really, they have a lot of different ones that I like lately, but just not enough to you know, buy it, especially when you've got plenty. You just feel like a hoarder or something. So I haven't, I, I'm just being very particular about if I buy one or not. Katrina Colts. I don't know who that is, but Berta. I don't know which one that is. Um, <laughs> Tammy says, my guess was incorrect, so no clue. Um, Linda's doing well. Everybody's saying, wow, love her. That kid is gorgeous. I almost said Eau Claire. Yeah, I, seriously, I was just blown away. And even, even though you know that Dreamer Designs, I like them and they have some really good stuff. They've had some really pretty ones. Um, I think they have like a buy one, get one 50% off thing today. And so I just went to kind of look. And I think there's two different Curtis Reykjavich that I like. And then there's this mermaid, but it's sold out and it has like all these colored fish and stuff. I bet the confetti is crazy in it. So y'all know, I love me some confetti. Um, but a lot of the um, Curtis Reykjavich damsels have a ton of color blocking and I am, am not a fan. I like a good mix, but if I had to pick one or the other, I'll do confetti all day, all day, all day. Yes, Sarah, it is gorgeous. Let's see. How will you bling her up? I don't know. I'm thinking like because she's golden, because it's called golden, like for sure her eyeshadow, because she's got like this really pretty gold shadow. And then I don't know, maybe some stuff sort of around the edge. I don't know. I don't know that I want to do a ton with her because she's so pretty. And the way they rendered her skin, mm, mwah, chef's kiss, as Jade would say, so good. That's so good. Um, <laughs> going to bling the D thing. That's right. I'm telling you, I'm still all about the blinging stuff. I have so many drills, so many drills. In fact, I don't know if y'all saw, but let me reach back here. This table is just a mess. 
So I love the like Elizabeth Ward containers. Um, I don't think I have one over here. Anyways, I've got stuff everywhere, but I like putting them in there so I can just see all of the different ones instead of having them in separate containers. But I know that both, I don't know who else is doing drills. I, I know for sure that both shimmering canvases and um, DP with sparklers are doing the, um, you can't really see the pixie dust on these. I don't know why. And on some of them, it's a little less, but they're selling sets of pixie dust. So I got some of those and I put some of those in this one, like in the, the little purple parts of his face and they're really pretty. So I like the, the sets of those, but just know some colors, you're not going to see the um, fairy dust or pixie dust very much. And in other ones you will. Uh, let's see. Okay, Melanie. She says, Claire is a conglomerate licensing agency for, oh, for AI artists. Well, all right. I'm not getting into that. I'm not going to get into the debate because I know how some of you feel and some of you know how I feel and we're just not going to do it. <laughs> all right. Let me make sure I don't get behind on comments. By God. <laughs> I don't know what the painting's called. It's golden. LOL. Okay. <laughs> Christopher Colossi. Hey, what's going on, mister? It's so good to see you. I think about you often. I, uh, I, I don't get on YouTube a ton. I'm trying to kind of get back into it. I know I used to watch a lot of lives and videos and all that. And I just, I don't know. I haven't done it a lot lately. Thank you. Dippin' Time says, please remember to click the like button. I would love a thumbs up. I don't know if I'm even monetized anymore because I know I got something from YouTube that was like, you don't have, you know, 5,980 views anymore or something. So I, I think they demoted me. <laughs> ah, yes. Laura says, confetti. Yes. Ah, oh, Christopher, it's, it does my heart good to see you. You know that I love all you guys just because I start calling some people out. I don't want nobody to get their feelings hurt, you know. Um, Carol's a confetti girl as well. Kelsa's metallic. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. A couple of metallic. I think for the most part, I just don't want to. I always say this and then I recant it, but I just don't want to bling her too hard. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> because I want the beauty of that painting to show, but I will definitely do something to it because every painting that I've worked on for sure. Um Yep, Cat's Galley, love me some confetti too. Billy says, love me, con love me, con or love confetti. It makes me happy. It's going to be beautifully, beautiful blinged out. Apparently, I can't read today though. <laughs> she is very unique, Randy. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank you. Tammy Simon says, I also love confetti. Color blocking gets boring. It does. And I mean, I have all the multi placers. Um, I know that I got the 15 placer like right when it first came out and oh my God, her tips are perfect. I, she's the only person that I order from. Um, hey, Melinda Hands, she says, popping in to say hello and tell you I'm so happy you're doing lives again. You look wonderful. Mwah. I love you too. You look wonderful too, Melinda. Thank you. Thank you for popping in here. I appreciate it. Yeah. Melanie says, I love me some fun Fetty. Fun Fetty. There's some... Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about cookies again or candies again, but there's a gluten-free bakery called Dana's Bakery in New Jersey. And you can order stuff from them. And if you know, I love macarons. Like I love macarons. They're ama not macaroons, not macaroons, not to be confused with macaroons, macarons. So they have, they make these gluten-free cookies and it's almost like they use an ice cream scooper and it has a big dollop of the cookie dough. And then on the inside is a macaron and you put it in the microwave and you just nuke it for a little bit. And then you start eating it and it's all warm and the macarons in there. And my favorite one is actually called Funfetti. So that's the long explanation anyways, Melanie. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I know. I love Jeanette too, Christopher. That's sweet. Um, no, don't worry about it. Melanie says, uh, sorry, I wasn't trying to start a debate. You just mentioned you didn't know who all Claire is. They seem to have beautiful stuff. They do. No, I'm just, I'm picking on you. I know some people will take something and run with it. So, Meh. 
<laughs> Hard blinging, my fave. Yeah, if y'all didn't know too, Kel is a master, a blinger. She's a, a blingologist in her own right. And I love looking at her stuff. If you haven't been on um, Coffee with Chris and Kel on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, she's putting up some beautiful, beautiful like progress shots of what she's doing, how she's blinging up this Hannah Lynn. And I love it, girl. You know, I'm like, I love it. Yes. Sarah's like, I love large confetti, heavy canvases. Uh, Linda, she's saying hello to Laura. Yeah, Tammy, I do. I admit it. Like when I did this one, the J wall from, um, crap, why can I not remember what that company's called? All right. Somebody help me out. Cause I know y'all know. I can't remember. Anyways, super confetti, like the heaviest confetti I've ever seen in a painting. And I actually had to take breaks from working on it because it was so intense. I was like, yeah, I gotta, I have to put it down and work on something else, but I finally got it done. She looks good. I also have, um, Katie did one called magical merry-go-round from this place. Um, and I have that one too. We actually got it at the same time, but she's already done hers. And I just have mine hanging up in there with the papers all over it, the release papers. And I don't usually use release papers, but with those, they get bubbles and rivers and all the things, especially whenever they're rolling it up and sending it to you from another country. So, uh, yeah, I can't think. OK, I know somebody said it in the common uh, comments. Let me look real quick. Yes, Carol. Thank you. Diamond painting Deutschland. They have some of the most beautiful paintings. I love their stuff and I love Josephine Wall. So and she's very confetti heavy. Her paintings are. Um, Linda says, sounds yummy. They are. Yes. I'm telling you, she is a blingologist. That's what, when I was doing the bling, the damn thing, that's what I called myself. The blingologist, your, your friendly blingologist. So Kel, you can use that now. <laughs> Not that you couldn't before, but you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so hoarse. Thank you, Christopher Kalasa. Anybody that has the wrench next to their name, it means that they're a moderator. So they can put you in timeout if you misbehave. <laughs> but I encourage it for the most part. He has put a link to Chris and Kel's YouTube over in the comments. So if you have not seen them, they are some of my favorites. I was laughing. I told Kel a long time ago when they were new and I just was completely smitten and hooked from the beginning. Um, somebody put a derogatory comment under their uh, video. I, I, I can't remember if it was the first video. Maybe it was just the first video I'd seen, but it was when they were starting out. And basically, I guess they were put off because there were two people in the video instead of like one person. I was like, seriously? So if you want to see funny stuff, if you don't mind a little bit of crass and funny hilarious comedy. And if you don't mind like the best laugh, one of the best laughs I've ever heard in my life, because Kel, I will never forget when we went to Ohio to the retreat and I was all like starstruck meeting you and Chris. And then when you laughed in person, like <clears throat> I'll never forget. I'll never forget. It, it made me so happy. She's got the best laugh, y'all. Let's see square confetti all day. Yeah. You know what? Dipping time. I, um, I used to hate squares and I was like, I'm never doing another square again. And now I actually prefer squares. I do like to put like mix them, you know, do a little round in between every couple of square paintings, but I really do. And the whole debate over multi-placing and, you know, is it cheating? There is no cheating in diamond painting. So, <clears throat> I mean, you've got people that use tweezers and th there's no way I would ever do that. But, um, yeah, using the multi-placer. Some people, newer people say, well, does it work better if they're squares or they're round? To me, my personal opinion um, is that they work so much better with squares. It's just, it just lays them down so pretty. Rounds, you know, I use them, but, but for square, oh man, all day, all day. Yes, Carol. Yes, Robin, you are right after Carol, and then Carly was right after you guys with the, the Diamond Painting Deutschland. I haven't been to their website in a long time, but their paintings are massive. Like the Josephine Wall, and they I think they have um, choices of square and round 
for each painting. So if you prefer one or the other, but they are poor or they they are um, double sided ad adhesive. They are not poured glue unless they change that. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh no, Laura has a sinus infection. I hate that. That sucks. Hello, Sue Layden. Have you, did I already say hi to you or have you been hiding back there and you just made yourself known? Hey, Dawn, how's it going, girl? Little DP gal. Yeah, sinus infection, that sucks. Yep, Melanie. Hello, Sheila. She said, I'm so glad to see you and hear your voice. I miss you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Just made some Lucky Charms cookies. Oh my God, and they're magically delicious. You missed it. You missed it, Sheila. I have my uh, last Lucky Charms family size box. Elizabeth and Edward, actually just Elizabeth with Enablers Outposts is my friend. And she sent me four of these boxes and I'm about, have about half of the last box left. <laughs> and then uh, I, I just got three boxes with the two packs each of the Lucky Charms charms only, the marshmallows and they're amazing. So maybe that's what you use to make the cookies. I'll have to check that out. Cindy, she says, I'm going to be kidding up my call of the sea. Oh, so you got it too, girl. I don't think I ever did a video. I recorded a whole bunch of pieces. Like Katie has put out an amazing, um, diamonds and washi. She's put out an amazing video kind of, of her steps with doing the magical merry-go-round. And I filmed a bunch of stuff for the call of the sea, but I never put it together. And so I actually have like photographs and stuff where I took all of the, um, it comes with uh, release paper on it. I can't remember if it's one big sheet though, maybe. And I took all of it off of there so I could straighten it out. Um, and then I left it for a little bit so it would just kind of relax. And then I put other release papers all over it. And so I have some really, I need to put that together. I say I'm going to do it. I should do it. We'll see if I do it, but it's a lot of fun and it's massive. It's massive, but you're going to you're going to love it. And then the sticker sheets have Pac-Man going in all directions. I mean, the shapes and, and things that they have are so cool. Let's see. That's right. That's right, Lori. She's got the hammer under there. Don't you dare put me in timeout, Christopher. Morgana, you always belong in timeout, but I'll be there right with right there with you. So. Ah, uh, Diamond Painting Cajun. <clears throat> She's also having some sinus stuff. I feel like I have, my ear is stopped up. Is that sinus stuff too? Sinuses or allergies or something? You hear yourself and it's like you're talking in a tunnel. Yes, Laura, crass and funny equals the best combo. Carol says, Chris and Kel's Christmas premiere was awesome. It was. They make me laugh every time. And some of those uh, dad jokes they come up with are, I can't. I love it. Morgana, it all depends on what you say. I'm a tyrant with my wrench powers. <laughs> Whatever. Kel says, oh my gosh, I was fangirling over you. It was a girl crush from day one. <laughs> yes, yes. I hope y'all both feel better with your sinus infection. Linda, it was so good to meet you too. There were so many amazing people that it was really, really cool to meet at the um, retreat. I wish that I was going to some of the other ones this year, but I just had to kind of bow out. But I am already paid and signed up for uh, Shay's Crafter's Paradise. And so I thought that was pretty cool. It's like a mermaid theme thing. So you know how Shay loves her some mermaids. That's my girl. Um, Linda says, oh, yeah, yeah, it, it was. I know it was fun. Shay and I haven't seen each other since a month or so ago, whenever we went and saw everybody at that dinner. So Shay, if you're out there, I hope you're not mad at me, girl. <laughs> I know she's busy y'all. So I'm just messing with her. Um, oh no, April. She says, I'm finally on the downhill side of a 12 day cold. <laughs> you're too kind. Please move on now. Kel, just because of that, I'm going to keep, keep picking on you. Hey, D. Eldridge, what's going on, lady? It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing all right. I haven't talked to you in a very long time. You'll have to let me know how you're doing. I hope things are good and you're doing well. Um, let's see. Oh, no. 
No, guys, we have a tweezer person in here. Dipping time, she says, tweezers are my thing. Four placer is the largest I can go without getting anal about alignment. <laughs> I love to use the word anal because anytime I talk about something, I'll say I'm anal retentive. And every once in a while, I get somebody that just kind of looks at me and I'm like, you know what? I, I, I can't ever think of another word to replace it with. And that's just me. So I'm kind of learning that uh, there was a really cool saying that I've heard several times now. And it's um, it's none of my business what ev what other people think about me. It's none of my business what other people think about me. I'm so self-conscious and I'm a people pleaser and all the things. So I'm just trying to learn to be OK with me. So that's just who I am. I, I, I don't apologize. I'm not sorry anymore because <laughs> that's what I always say. D, I miss you, too, lady. You are just you are such a beautiful human being. You know, I haven't seen a. Mrs. Coffee stuff in, in quite a while. I need to go in and check on her. I think she was like more on, is it Twitch? I think she's more on Twitch now than YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong, but yeah, I miss seeing her too. She's funny. Uh, where are we? I did say hi, Sue. Okay, good. <laughs> I hate that when somebody comes in and then the person skips over them in the line. You're like, what about me? Let's see. Muttnut says, I own one double-sided adhesive. It's from Craft Pack Canada. I don't think I've ever heard of them or ordered from them. I have, um, uh, oh, I'm, I'm spacing on her name. Crap. Uh, Sparkle Queen Creates. I have a, a fish that's really cool that's double-sided from her. Um, and then I got the Josephine Wall and the other one in there that I haven't done yet that are double-sided. Um, I don't think I have any more double-sided. I think those are the only ones. But in the beginning, that's all I knew. And now even if you look on Amazon for just like small ones you want to take, um, like on a trip or something like that, they actually have some that are poured glue. So I was that really surprised me. Randy, can I ask you to ask Cajun if she's going live tonight, please? Well, I just did it for Cajun. Are you going live tonight? Because April would like to know. I like the way you did that, though. That was very, I, I feel good about it, April. You are such a such a little lady. Thank you. I love that. Yeah, in case y'all didn't know, and this is not me being picky. There are other creators. There are other creators that are on here that I'm friends with. There are other creators on their channels um, that are not on here. And it's actually considered a little bit rude to do what we call self-promote. So if you're on somebody's channel, just don't promote your own channel. Like if somebody asks, you know, is such and such going to be on tonight? I mean, I'm okay with that. But just don't be rude. Don't be rude. Like uh, uh, Laura or Kel. If they're doing a live or something, I don't know if Kelly even does a live, <gasps> which reminds me, I had to miss the live with, was it Alyssa and Kel and Shay? I have to go back and watch that. Okay. Hang on. Y'all know I got to make a note because I have CRS. You know what that stands for? Can't remember shit. So I'm going to put <laughs> Shay, Kel, and Alyssa. Yeah, I need to watch that. Anyways. Don't go on Shay's live and be like, yeah, so I have a channel and I have 152 followers. Will you help me? It's just rude. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so that's fine, April. I appreciate you. Um, let's see. Melinda Hands. I got Lucky Charms to keep here for my husband's grandkids. They had them one time and for some reason the box is completely empty. <laughs> ah. Cindy says, yep, I got I got it. And fly me to the moon. J wall images are so gorgeous. They really are. Um, I know that there are like some AI things out now that are kind of like her stuff, but I don't know. Her stuff is just so amazing. And if it's something that's um, like a rip off of her, then I'm not down with that. But if it's something that's completely different that somebody created, there are some really pretty ones out there. Oh, she's not feeling well. Oh, man. All right. Well, then I got to text her. See, you know more than I do. I feel bad. She's not a good friend and I'm not a good friend. <laughs> Just kidding. I miss you, Shay. I hope you feel better. I'll text you later. Oh, no, she's actually at urgent care. Carol, thanks for letting me know. Oh, that sucks. I hope she's all right. 
That's probably why I haven't heard from her. Berta, she says, what dinner? I'm not going to tell you what Berta did, but let me just say she is one of the sweetest people that I know. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Berta. Here's the, there's my wink for you. <laughs> yeah, I hope Shay feels better too soon, Laura. Um, Melanie, can't wait to meet y'all at the retreat. I'm going to have some serious fan curling episodes. You just need to know, girl, I am I am a regular human being. I'm just a regular person who got the courage to come on to, to YouTube a little bit. So just regular peeps. That's all. It's all good. Yes. Kate Diamond Painting Cajun says, yeah, me too. I hope Shay gets well soon. April says, you guys don't get this horrible cold or COVID, of course. I haven't been this sick ever. I've never gotten COVID. Ooh, I got it once. And not only was the timing in my life terrible, but it was awful. Um, I ended up having to get that, what's it called, Paxlovid or something, uh, because I just wasn't getting any better. It was horrible. So I hope you don't have it. Are you saying that you have it or have had it or you haven't had it at all yet? Anyways. I wish, uh, I wish you good luck on not getting it. I don't know if it's bad that I just said that because I don't want to jinx you. So I take it back. I take it back. I'm telling you, Linda. So give me another um, phrase besides anal retentive. Give me something that anybody in the comments, give me a more proper you know, wording to anal retentive. I need it. I need to know. Give me the verbiage, man. <clears throat> uh, that's just, they're working. Oh, Laura, or she, April says, Laura, I thought you were getting better from C. Now you got a sinus infection. Yeah, that both suck, but I'm not going to say anything, Diamond Painting Cajun. I don't want to, I don't want to jinx somebody. Melinda says, I have one double-sided adhesive. It's a custom that my daughter gave to me. She has no knowledge. It's a horrible <laughs> rendering. She might know if she watches this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I managed to, oh, two inches of it, and I've used 60 of the colors in that one spot. Girl, uh-uh. Oh, no, Laura. I'm sorry. Melinda says, I'll suffer through it and not say a thing because her heart was so very much in the right place. Yeah, I know. It's sweet whenever people do that. It really is. Um, Kel, it was with Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Lindsay, if you're watching. I'm telling you. That's right. I for How did I forget that? I even came on there, I think, for a few seconds. I was out with some other people and jumped on there, and you guys didn't even see me. So, hi, April. Hi, uh. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, I'm trying to see where I'm at. I've got somebody in here and I don't know how to pronounce their name and I will say hi. But if you get crazy, just know you be gone. Let's see. <laughs> Morgana. <laughs> this is a great comment too. Morgana says, I don't have a channel, so please don't try to follow me. <laughs> oh, April says she's tried already. Uh, <laughs> Carol. <laughs> yes, Berta is the best. I've seen her post. She said she had a 101 fever, so no live. Oh, guys. Okay. I'm very glad that you said something. Now I feel really bad. I need to reach out and see if she's okay. Jenny Trioli. Hello, you guys. I don't know if Jenny has put this out there. If she's posted pictures, maybe, maybe I did know that she posted pictures, but we did um, Petals Fall by Yume. Like I kind of worked with her and she finished it and oh my God, it's fabulous. So if you haven't been to Jenny Trioli's um, Instagram, I know for sure she has some stuff on there. She sent me some pictures and I'm just in awe. You did such a beautiful job, Jenny. I know that was a lot of stuff, but I think it was worth it. Uh, I love you, D. Eldridge. I keep seeing her come by here. Oh, okay. April said she's never had it. Cajun's never had it. Yeah, the Paxlovid thing was the only thing that kind of helped me get over it. But I had this 
like terrible metallic taste in my mouth for a really long time. I mean, like even after it, I never lost my taste. I don't think I'll say it affected my taste a little bit, but the Paxlovid gave me that like really, it's almost like you're sucking on a penny. Ugh, I don't recommend it. The penny or the, <laughs> the Paxlovid flavor. April says you can't jinx me. All right, then I take it back. I take it back. Um, Oh, what? Diamond Painting Cajun says that medication almost killed my friend. Well, it saved me. I'm sure it just depends on the person. I mean, it, it's just like, you know, you've got several people in the house and they all get it. And some people, you know, like Carl got over it super quick and he actually had to help take care of me because I was like, I couldn't make food. I couldn't do anything. I was in bed for days and days. Um... Oh, thank you, Berta. Berta's like detail oriented. That's so funny. I love that. Okay. Thank you, Berta, for schooling me on that. Ah, that's funny. Perfectionist, particular, precise. Everybody's giving me the words now. Working with a critical eye. Are there any words that you guys can't stand that you think are overused? I feel like like wheelhouse has always been annoying to me because for a long time they'd say that's in your wheelhouse. I, I don't know. I can't stand it. Um, and I don't mind the word transparent, but a lot of people say transparent to be transparent. And I'm kind of like, is there another word you could use? Thank you. <laughs> Laura says hammer time. Finicky would be a good word. I have a father-in-law that's finicky. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. April, get out of my bushes. Oh, thanks. Thanks, April. I especially did the green eyeshadow for you. I don't know if you can see. I put stuff underneath too, because my eyes are kind of smaller. So you put something really light up here, like right on your eyelid to make your eyes look bigger. And then you put a little bit more underneath. Like some makeup artists will say, never put liner or whatever under your eyes. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. If you get something called a pencil brush and you can either push shadow in there or what I do is I get a, um, well, it doesn't matter which kind, but I think I typically use the Urban Decay um, what's it called? 24 seven. And I'll put just a little line under there and then I'll get my eyeshadow and I'll get the pencil brush. And they call it that because it literally is just a little nub that looks like a pencil and you just kind of smush it, you know, smudge it out and then don't swipe your shadow. If you want a, a deeper, darker line, then you actually press the shadow in there and it helps it stick. So there you go. Makeup lesson for free. <laughs> Where's Bev when you need her? <laughs> She's always the one that's like, hey, give me a makeup lesson. Uh, let's see. Kel says, it is anal retentive that I have one subscriber on this, my personal channel, and I hate it. I'd rather have zero. <laughs> oh, she says, is it anal retentive that I have one subscriber on this, my personal channel, and I hate it. I'd rather have zero. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now I'll make it two, says April. Um, oh, Melanie says, I asked my doctor for Paxlova, but she wouldn't give it to me. She said the side effects were too bad for my risk factors. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Sometimes medication causes more issues than it can help. So if your doctor says that, then of course. Oh, geez. Tammy's had it twice in one year. Um, Christopher. <laughs> ah. Tammy had it the year after it came out. Oh, she was actually in the hospital for seven days. The grandson had it three times. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, am I allowed to say that? Are they still freaky about saying the C word? I don't know. What did I used to call it? Um, the rhinoceros. That's right. I don't know why. I don't know. The rhinoceros. See, you can use that instead of the other word. <laughs> I ha hate the overuse of incredulous in books. All right. Fair enough. I like that, Carly. Incredulous. Does it, is it triggering when I say it to you? <laughs> uh, 
Let's see, Jenny. Oh, thanks. She says, you always look stunning, Randy. I'm, I am good for clown makeup. Shut it. Jenny, I've seen your face and you are beautiful. So get over it. Bye, D. Eldridge. Yeah. Say hey to me later. It was good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Amelia, the pug mom. Oh, wow. She had it for a long time. Yeah. Autoimmune disease. That's tough. That's really tough. I've been having this weird issue with like my fingers and my toes. I've had it in my hand, like especially in my left hand for a long time, but I'm having it in my right foot really bad. And I guess it's called like Raynaud's disease or Raynaud's disease or something. And so I went back to the foot doctor three or four times. And so this last time he's like, mm, I hate to say it, but that's usually caused by an autoimmune disease. And he said, I think we need to do blood work. So I go see him uh, Wednesday this next week. So wish me luck. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you do with that. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Morgana. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. I really appreciate it. The continued prayers, you know, it's day by day, little lady, but I'm just trying to take care of myself, you know? It's good. Oh, Linda says, let's get into it. Drives me crazy. <laughs> let's get into it. Um, there's some weird things that I say that I haven't thought about. And then maybe like Carl or Shay or somebody points it out to me. And so I don't know why, but I say woohoo a lot of times. Like if if there's a if you got to go grocery shopping, and I don't like grocery shopping, and you get it done, and you unload everything in the car, and like woohoo, the grocery shopping is done. So that was pointed out to me. And then um, Shay was making fun of me at the Ohio retreat because I would open the door for her and I would say, "Milady," and she started saying it to me, and I looked at her and she goes, "That's what you say when you open the door." Which is also funny because I say alas a lot of times too. I'll say, but alas, no. And so then I saw somebody that put a review on some shoes, like on Nordstrom or something. I was looking at these shoes and I was looking at the comments to see about sizes. And somebody said, alas, blah, blah, blah. And so I screenshotted it and I sent it <laughs> to everybody to show them. Let's see. Y'all are cracking me up. Christopher says, I told you all I'm a madman with my wrench. Hmm. That doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> Christopher, you have zero lux given, my friend. <laughs> you don't mind. You say all the things, and that's what I love about it. You know what, Jenny? I think I've said this a million times, but people will, will come, like at the dinner and stuff, they'll be like, oh, I knew Randy was coming, so I had to do my makeup. I feel self-conscious without my makeup, but I would rather see a fresh face than somebody that has just a crap ton of makeup on. So I, I know that you're beautiful without it. There are a lot of people in this chat over here and that are not in this chat that are absolutely gorgeous without it. So I don't know, but I see all the good things in people that they don't see about themselves. So I'm really good at giving advice, but I'm trying to learn to take it too. <laughs> Uh, Morgan is waving and putting a bunch of wrenches. Is it Raynaud's? Is that how you say it, April? Yeah, I hate it. <gasps> Billy, I just used chef's kiss earlier, and I don't say that very often. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> I bought foundation when I turned 50 and wear it when I feel particularly 50. Another free piece of advice get a one of those little sponges you can get like i sell them i don't i don't think i have one over here um it's it doesn't have to be the beauty blender brand because they're more expensive but just get one of those sponges and get it put it in your hand under the faucet just use like some lukewarm water and just kind of squeeze it until it puffs up and you know the water will make it puff up and then squeeze it out really good you just want it damp not wet and then what I'll do is I'll put, I use um, liquid foundation for the most part because liquid's better when you're older and you have large pores and all the things. So not saying that you do. So if you put it on your hand, it'll warm it up a little bit. And then I'll get that sponge and I'll just, just 
dip a little bit on there and then I'll just kind of put it on my face. Don't smudge it though. Just kind of bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. And then it, it's beautiful. And don't put a ton of powder because I put a little bit of powder and you can see, I guess I need to get some Botox again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Am I caught up? No, nobody told us when we hit 50, we'd start falling apart. Uh, Amelia, I'm proud of you because I started falling apart a lot earlier than 50. <laughs> I almost want to say that when I turned 40, like just things started breaking down. I was like a car that needed to go in for maintenance. <laughs> Christopher says, I hate a word that like everyone in this community uses bling. It's so cringy to me. I hate it. You know, Christopher, you want to see what's behind this hand? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, zero lux given, my friend. Uh, yes, Kel, I love that. She says, when I walk in the door, I say, hello, governor, in her British accent. <laughs> uh, Kel, I love you. Linda, Randy, I'll be praying for you. You truly don't want an autoimmune disease. Trust me, my friend, it's, it changes your life. Yeah, I am. Um, I just, it's weird because in this hand, like, you know, do being a makeup artist and doing weddings, you have a lot of dirty brushes because if I did like six people at a wedding, I don't reuse my brushes. I don't just swipe, clean them and then use it on somebody else. I would literally have six separate sets of brushes. And so you get home from doing the wedding and you have to wash all the brushes. So basically I would get a little soap on the brush and then I would put it in this hand and swirl it around and then just keep rinsing it. Well, this hand had no problems with hot water until so this hand got in there and was like, what in the hell are you doing? Because I just, I, the feeling in my fingers over here and stuff are not the same. So when I put my other hand down there, oh, <laughs> I, 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 I retract that comment. <laughs> When this hand went under the water as well, um, then it was scalding hot. So that and then this whole thing with my feet and it's so weird. I don't know. Anyways, long story longer. Uh, one of my sisters won't go to her mailbox without full makeup. I'm doing good if I remember to pencil <laughs> my almost non-existent eyebrows. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, that's the other thing, too. I guess I got used to having to have my makeup done because when you're a makeup artist and you want people to hire you, trust me, they're paying attention. If your makeup looks jacked up, no. And typically if you have no makeup on, that can also be a little bit of a hindrance to people. I, I do know some friends that are makeup artists and they wear like nothing, but I've had people tell me before, I hired you because your makeup looks beautiful. And I was like, thank you. So I'm always used to having to have it on and then being in Dallas, Texas. Oh my gosh. Need I say more? Uh, let's see. Sarah says, any tips for people with super sensitive skin who want to wear makeup? Um, <clears throat> that's a tough one because a lot of different companies use a lot of different things. And back 2003, when I worked for Matt Cosmetics, um, they had Studio Fix and some different foundations and people would come in and they would get it and it worked great for years. And then the next thing you know, they would come in and they're having all kinds that just exacerbated issues with their face. And so companies can actually change ingredients. My first thought would be <clears throat> go to, I don't know, Ulta, Sephora, whatever counter, whatever products you like, and then have them just test, you know, get like a little test of makeup done on your face. You know, if they have a makeup artist there, just have them apply it and then wear it around for the day and see if anything happens. Um, because different ingredients, it's like, I have a friend that, um, I know red eyeshadow can affect a lot of people if there's not, not red color per se, but if it has like red number, blah, blah, blah in it, or something like that, people can have adverse reactions to that and their eyes will puff up and stuff. So I don't know. BB cream would be a good thing to try. Tinted moisturizer would be a good thing to try. Um, I can't believe I'm giving out all these free makeup tips, but it's kind of fun. <clears throat> so except for Christopher, he's like, all right, how long are we going to talk about this? <laughs> um, 
if you want heavier coverage, then use a brush. And if you want a lighter, softer amount of coverage, that's where you get that sponge and get it really damp and puffed up. And then you just sort of bounce it over your face because uh, Christopher, don't, I don't even want you to go there. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I know he's going to have a comment down here. Whatever, Morgana. She says, I was falling apart in my 20s. Laura says she was going to say her 40s. <clears throat> I choked on my coffee when Christopher said that. Yeah, about 38 was when the crack started with me and been breaking down ever since. Shut up, Christopher. Uh, Melinda says, or Christopher says, Melinda, consider that an accomplishment for the day. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm getting hoarse, guys. <clears throat> How about you talk, some, talk amongst yourselves? I'm just kidding. Tammy says, I have neuropathy in my hand, so diamond painting really takes a toll on it because I have trouble telling how tight I hold my pants. Wow. I could see that. I could see that. Have you tried different? Well, I know this is goofy, but have you tried different thicknesses of the pens? Because I know I went from like the pink pen to kind of a mid-size and then you know Christopher I like them big and then I've kind of gone down so I like a medium to large size pen that seems to work the best for me because like even when I did makeup my hand would cramp up and stuff so if you haven't done that try it and if 800 people have already recommended it then so sorry <laughs> uh, let's see Oh, no, Morgana. She said, I've never had any luck with finding the right shade of foundation. I gave up years ago. I'll be honest. I mean, there are a lot of times where I'll mix a little bit of each. Because, like, if you see my face and my neck, it looks like I have more yellow. But then if you see my pasty hands, that's the other thing. Because I have bad circulation in my hands and feet. Um, so you don't tan as well and you don't have as much color in your hands. So basically, you can see all the pink and my fingers compared to my face. Um, and if you're putting a bunch of pink on your face, to me, it doesn't look as good if, as if you have a little bit of both. So if you get a yellow with just a, a touch of that in it, or if you get like a yellow and a, and a pink and you put just a little and mix them together. I don't know. Some people are like, I don't want to have to mix, but... Uh, no, Sue, I'm not back to work. Um, I won't get into that. There's a lot of stuff, um, but I'm pondering it. I'm pondering it. Um, I really enjoy doing it, but I definitely don't want to do weddings anymore because it's a beating. Everybody goes, oh, it's so fun. You must love doing weddings. It, there's a lot of um, like half makeup, half psychology or therapist. So all the family dynamics, if anybody has a dysfunctional family or you're married to someone that has a dysfunctional family, they did not put the fun in dysfunctional when you do a wedding. So it, it's all the things. But <clears throat> I, I, I don't think I want to work for myself anymore. No, I'm not going to, don't hold me to it, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um. Aw, Jenny says, I'm trying out some new bifocal contacts, so I feel pretty 50 today. I tried the, I tried the um, bifocal contacts, and then I tried one where it's uh, one far away and one close up, and I just could not get used to them. So these glasses are only to be used when I have my far away contacts in. So this helps me see up close, and then if I take these off, then I can see far away. I don't know. It's an old person problem for me. <laughs> Christopher's trying to choke people in here. Christopher, get it together, sir. Hello, Emma Casey. Hey, Mindy, how are you? It's good to see you, girl. I hope that you're doing good. I think I clicked on somebody's comment that said, hey, Mindy, and then it, it took me a minute and it clicked. <laughs> it's good to see you. I hope that you're doing all right. I know she's got a fancy schmancy um retreat coming up. I wish I could go to that one. I've just got so much stuff going on, but I was excited whenever she was going down the list and she's like, believe it or not, you're up in the queue. And I was like, what? Um, let's see. <laughs> Diamond painting Cajun. Lord, I, I definitely need makeup. 
Uh, <laughs> Mandy says, hi, ladies. And Christopher, who floored. I don't wear it a lot, but definitely need to. Ah, that's not always, you know, and with makeup too, people always think for the most part that you need to do a lot. Like I always like a lot on my eyes and I'll do a softer color of um, on my lips. But just because you wear makeup doesn't mean that you have to wear a lot because I would always wear a lot more eye makeup than the people that I would work on. But that's why they liked me, because I knew how to do makeup, you know, with a soft hand. It's like some people get really heavy handed and then they leave and they're like, oh, my God, what happened? So I guess the empath in me, you know, really care. And if it's somebody's wedding or they're going out and they're going to have a lot of pictures, I just wanted them to feel comfortable, but there's just little things that you can show somebody and show that person how naturally beautiful they are. It's just the little things. I mean, I, I, I'm uh, Shay came over and I kind of messed with her a little bit. And we were talking about eyebrows and different things. And it was really sweet. She made me feel good. One of the best compliments ever. She said, Randy, I don't think I've ever seen you light up like that. You like you can tell you really love helping somebody, you know, with their makeup. And I'm like, I know it just makes me feel good to make other people feel good. So that's why I got to work on doing it with me. <laughs> Yes, those thick O's were bound to wear you out after a while. Christopher, are you talking to me? Am I so far behind that I don't know what you're talking about? Or <laughs> Billy says, I use a larger pen and it helps with the arthritis and also an arthritis glove. Oh, I don't think I knew about that. Okay, Tammy says that she has severe hand pain and so she uses the thicker pens. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, Sue, um, I have not thought about helping Trump with his makeup. Have I commented on it many times? Anybody that's sitting in the room with me whenever he comes on the TV, I'm like, oh. And then when everybody had the rhinoceros and they were having to be on camera, whether it was at their home or in the studio and they had to do their own makeup. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I called out a lot of people. I felt bad for people that had to do, do their own makeup. And television makeup is different than, you know, everyday makeup. And then, you know, pictures for weddings and stuff. It's all different. And if somebody's like me and they have a lot of that, like, red, pink in their hands and stuff, um, you have to really kind of neutralize that because it looks terrible. If you ever see somebody, too... And like they're sitting there and their face is one color and then their neck is just red or their hands like this. They're just red and everything else looks nice. That's because they're it's not the makeup is not um, done correctly for that type of media. So even on the news and things like that, if somebody's doing a debate or whatever, you actually want to put makeup on their hands to cancel out that red. And like I said, the, the main thing that you'll notice is when somebody's face is perfect and then all down here, it's just flush and stuff. Okay, where am I? <laughs> That's funny. You caught me off guard there. Hey, Diamond Stitcher, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yes. Oh my gosh, Laura. <sighs> I should write a book. I could tell you some interesting stories and it's not always bridezillas. It's just really interesting things that I've seen happen with bridesmaids, with brides, with family members, like during the process of getting ready for the wedding, you would, maybe you wouldn't be surprised, but I bet you would be surprised by some stories. So, but I don't kiss and tell, so I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Amelia says, I have severe neuropathy in my hands. I use three to five pins of different weights and sizes and I switch back and forth. I have different multi-placers on each. Yeah, I could see that. That makes total sense. I know, Mindy. I wish I could have come too. Y'all, if you got on the list and you can go to the Mingle in the Mitten with Mindy, say that five times, Mingle in the Mitten with Miss. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it. Anyways, she has a new retreat, um, her and... Um, Shit. I hate when my brain blocks out. Blah, blah, blah. Um, fuck. All right. Help me out, Mindy. She's, if she watches this, I'm going to be so embarrassed. Um, brain fart. 
Anyways, Mindy and this other amazing creator um, are having a Mingle in the Mitten retreat coming up. I believe it's in June. Is it the beginning of May or, or the end of June? Anyways, if you get on the list, it looks like it's going to be so much fun. And I know that you can go to her channel and look at it. Um, oh, Angie, Angie, um, Craft NATO. See, see, I th okay. I know there's probably going to be 1,800 comments down in the bottom because I need to catch up. Angie, yes, that's who I was talking about. And don't you dare tell her, Mindy. <laughs> don't you dare tell her. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? That's okay because some people, too, if they wear makeup and they're not used to it, they'll get a, you know, a little rash or breakout or something like that. So, hey, Christiane, it's Chip and Dale. What's going on, girl? You doing all right? I hope things are good. I hope that you're well. Um, I was telling them earlier that I haven't been on um, YouTube very much. So I haven't watched people's lives and all that. But I hope that you're doing good. <laughs> Grr, eyebrows. Why are they so dry? Old age brows. Um. I don't know. I kind of get that way too. I don't have a whole lot of hair left in my eyebrows. So that's why I like to put it on there, but, um, there's some different, different things. And this is not me marketing myself, but I do sell something called Embryolese. It's actually the name of the company and they have some stuff that you can, you put it on your hands. It's like a, it's like a moisturizer and stuff. I mean, they use it for fashion week. Like if, if models are going from, um, designer to designer and their face is just, it's wreaked havoc because they're having to have their makeup redone and redone for each fashion show. They'll use the Embryolies a lot as a quick fix, but it also works good. And if you put it in your hands and then don't rub it all over, but press it in your face, it works so good. And it's not crazy expensive. I mean, they've got the smaller tube. They've got the bigger tube. It'll last you for a while. It's really good stuff. Really good. Ah, la, 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 la. Everybody's saying hi. Oh, yep. Told you. I think Mint. Okay, it wasn't Mindy. Kel was the first one. Angie. And then I remembered because I haven't seen yet, but Craft NATO is, I kept thinking Tornado. So I was on the right track. I'm sorry, Angie, if you watch this, I love you. I love you. Early May. Okay. Mindy corrected me. So it's early May. Mingle in the mitten with Mindy and Angie. How about that? Let's see. Wait, what? Kel says Emma Casey. What? Are you trying to throw me off? What are you talking about? Are you answering somebody else? Is that how far behind I am? <laughs> Christian, she says, I'm surviving. I miss you guys. It's like all the the um, names of everybody and, and um, you know, I used to call her Harry because her last name is Christian Hare, but, um, and then um veronica what is she sapphires and ocean waves now it goes way back but i still call her cooter i don't know if anybody else does <laughs> oh carol you're welcome i really do i love talking about makeup um and it's weird because it's like i don't like talking about it for me i mean i can tell you what i use and what i do <clears throat> one of the things I, maybe i should do that so I, uh, my favorite thing that I did, uh, the most before I stopped doing makeup, thanks to the rhinoceros was, uh, personal makeup lessons. And I have a lot of friends and people that I know that are in different States. And I would actually do, um, a Google call or like zoom call. And I would just have a bunch of things out and I would tell them, you know, bring all of your things and set them in front of you, whatever you have that you don't use and you want to learn how to use it. Um, if you don't have anything and you need me to recommend something, I sell brushes. I sell all the things. And then I usually give a discount for whatever you purchase if you get it, you know, after you've done the makeup lesson. But um, it's not cheap, but uh, it's usually about an hour and a half. And I go over everything and it's a lot of fun. I, that's where my passion is. It's not, 
cranking out a bunch of bridesmaids and stuff like that. I really love doing a makeup lesson. So if you're interested and you want to do something, reach out to me and, and uh, we can talk about it. So uh, yeah, self-promotion on my own channel. I don't know. <laughs> Randystrandcosmetics.com is the makeup stuff, even if you just want to look at it. Because I think was it you, Carol, that was saying that you're allergic to a lot of things? Somebody did. And that's the reason that I have my own line, because people would start using things and they would change up the ingredients and then you start breaking out. Plus, I can't have gluten products for my hair, you know, hair color when I go get it done or my makeup or whatever. So that's a big deal to me, too. Um, oh, who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Kel says she's here, Randy. Who is? Did I miss? Did I miss somebody? Or is she picking on me about Angie? I will, Kel, I will smack you. I will use my pimp hand and backhand you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello, Huggies and other plush toys. I don't know who you are, but hello. Morgana says, hey, C, um, love me some cooter. I know, Laura. I know. Thanks, Linda. Love your makeup lessons. I would love to have you teach me. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Um, I've been doing makeup for forever. Um, I started my own company a little over 20 years ago. And I need to look and see if, like, I have two websites. The randystrand.com is for like makeup services, but it's been a while since I've looked at it. And it's like, you have to buy the SSL certificates and all the things. So I need to see if it's even working, but it should be up. But the cosmetics one is where it has the majority of my stuff. You'll just see pictures and things on the, on the other one. <gasps> Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Christopher. They're just like, boom, boom. The best mods ever. Oh, he also says Emma Casey, the artist. I'm like, okay. Yes, great minds think alike. <laughs> April says my mom called to wish me happy St. Patrick's Day. Is Veronica here? Yeah, Tammy, I do. I've had my own line for, oh man, years, years. It took a long time though to figure out like what colors I wanted to have and all that because I don't know, I'm just weird. It's like I have OCD and I wanted things to be right. And I wanted to have a lot of different colors and stuff. So I have lots of different colors, the greens and the reds and the, but I have a lot of neutral stuff too. So, oh, Emma's in the chat. I do give Lux. I got zero Lux given on most things, but Emma Casey, oh my God. Okay. Emma Casey, I feel so bad. I'm like, Emma. And then I'm like, oh, that's who's in the chat. Everybody say hello. Her work is amazing. Are you kidding me? Okay. I don't know why you came in here, but I love you for that. I already loved you for your work. And now, <laughs> now I really love you. And happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> the diamond stitcher. She's like, finally. Man, I'm just going through here. See, Emma, what happens if you're still here is that everybody gives me crap because I'm always behind in the comments, but I am caught up today because I'm just skimming. <laughs> I feel like such a knucklehead. <laughs> oh, I need to um, I need to eat one of my Sour Patch Watermelon Kids and then maybe I'll be okay, but I'll be chewing for five minutes on here. So, <laughs> uh, you guys. Yeah. Laura says, I can't wait to get the dragon. Where did it go? The dragon seasons canvas. Her work is amazing. I must chat and complete sentences. <laughs> note taken. That's right. You better do it. So you know what one word that I do like, Kel, is plethora. Plethora. And I learned that from the three amigos with, who was it? Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short old movie, but it was amazing because this Hispanic guy was trying to talk to his boss and the boss was, I think, sitting on the horse and he said, do you know what that's called? And he said, that's a plethora of books. And it was just a random, hilarious line. So I like the word plethora. I've used that a lot. So there are a plethora of comments over here. <laughs> you must complete sentences. Uh, let's see. Mindy says the basic moisturizer. 
Um, I know Emma, but I, I, I'm a knucklehead. I just said, Hey, Emma, because I saw the Emma going down there. And then I looked at everybody's comments and I looked back and I was like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> so it means a lot that you're in here. Cause I know I haven't been on in a while and I'm kind of a knucklehead. So <laughs> I appreciate you showing up. Um, you know what, Mindy, hang on a second. Let me go get a tube of it and I'll show you. Um, cause I think it's just called, um, is it La Creme? La... Let me hang on. Hang on. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. All right, no laughing if you heard me, um, if you heard all the diamond paintings fall over back there <laughs> because I have a lot of them that are out. I'm trying to go through. All right, Mindy, are you paying attention? So Embryolese is the company. And La Creme Concentrate is the stuff that I sell. It's I've got two sizes. Where is it? I've got two sizes, the small one and the big one. And then there's also some stuff that I sell if you get really oily and it's also by Embryolese. They're a great company. I've never tried anything from there that I didn't like. So that's why I carry their stuff. All right. Where did I go? <laughs> I know Emma was laughing at me. <laughs> okay. Christopher, these comments are actually from three lives ago. Shut up, Christopher. <laughs> They might be, though. Morgana, I was hoping somebody knew what I was talking about whenever I said The Three Amigos. It's such a good movie. Of course, I've always liked Steve Martin. And I love Martin Short and Chevy Chase, but I love me some Steve Martin. He kind of reminds me of my dad. My dad has a really good sense of humor. And by the way, if you guys are sending some prayers out, my dad's name is Dennis. Um, he's going to be 77 this year and the end of November of last year, he had to have rotator cuff surgery and unfortunately it did not go well and he's still not healed up. So he did an MRI and all this stuff. And, um, basically they're going to have to go in again and do it because there's a new tear in there. So I think he's going to get a different doctor, but I'm just worried about him. And then he fell, um, He's always doing stuff that he's not supposed to. So he was like up on top of their RV and he was coming back and walking over to the ladder and he fell and he actually like cut his head open on a rock. So I was calling to see if he was OK. And then my stepmom didn't answer. And then she sent me a picture of him and I was like, oh, my God, I was like freaking out. So if you can just pray for my dad, I would appreciate it. If you're not a prayer person, if you want to send good thoughts that that that's okay too i appreciate it <laughs> christopher says my little buttercup has the sweetest smile yes sarah the plethora scene is great um okay i i am behind so i don't know if uh mindy saw the link they did put my link to my site up in the comments but it's randy r-a-n-d-e-e -E, strand cosmetics.com and it's on there. It's the, like I said, the La Creme Concentrate. So it's under like moisturizer. Let's see. Yeah, Emma, I know Laura is going to love the kit. She, yeah, yeah. No need to ask her. I can tell you already. <laughs> uh, yes, La Creme. Wait, Carly, what? Plethora and what? I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I don't know if you spelled it the right way or if I'm just not familiar with that word. I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, thank you, Laura. She did already put the link to my site up there. April. Yeah, I know, April. Christopher is funny. He really is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Steve Martin and the jerk. He's so good. I, I'm, I'm going to take this paddle ball. 
I'm going to take this paddle ball in this chair. <laughs> he's like carrying all the things whenever he's going out of the house. No way, Melanie. She says she saw Steve Martin in concert. It was amazing. Oh, I love him. In fact, <clears throat> my dad loves music. And so I love music. And I know a lot of, you know, older songs before I was born and things like that. And um, he had this big record collection and he loved Steve Martin too. We actually had a, I think it was a signed picture in our house and it was a black and white picture of Steve Martin. And I think, you know, the, the white uh, jacket that he always wore, I think he had that on and like a fish sticking out of it or something. It was random, but it was really funny. Um, so anyways, he had the 45, my dad had the 45 of Steve Martin singing um, King Tut. And so I looked and looked until I finally found some some person on uh, eBay that had a 45 of King Tut and I still have it. I don't have a record player, but I have that 45. So if I get a record player, then I will be able to play it. But I, it, I like having it because it reminds me of dad. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, the father of the br Emma. Those those uh, movies make me cry every time. They're so sweet. And I love Murders in the Building. Oh, my God. I'm so hooked on that. In fact, oh, yeah, I did finish watching this season. Season, It's so good. I freaking love it. Oh, I keep leaning down. Um, thank you, Morgana. Thank you, Emma. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Mindy says I'm in. <laughs> Uh, yes, for Dennis. I appreciate that, guys. He just, uh, oh, it means to steal. Okay, I think I do know. I don't know if I know how to pronounce it, but I, I know, yes, I know what you're talking about. Only Murders in the Building, one of my favorite shows ever, Martin and Martin and Gomez. Yes, it's so good. Did I ever tell you guys, like, um, I went, I lived in New York for three months back in 2008. And I already had my own successful business um, doing makeup and everything, but I wanted to go because HD was coming out and I felt like I knew what I was doing. But at the same time, I wanted to go take some classes. So I moved to New York and uh, every time that I would go to get lunch before I would come back, I would see inevitably every time, even if I was walking home late at night, if I had to get supplies for you know, some project or whatever, I would walk and I would see celebrities all over the place. I never hassled anybody, but man, I'd get a smile on my face. Uh, John Lithgow, who I love, and I thought his character was amazing in Dexter. Me and Carl and my son were walking and it was during the day. I think it was actually on a weekend where I wasn't taking classes and we were walking down the street and this tall man walks past us and I look and I'm like, I mouth to them, it's John Lithgow. So then I'm walking up behind him and I'm like, it's John Lithgow. And so they were cracking up. I never said anything to him because it looked like he was in a hurry and on a mission, but it was so cool. So people would always say, how do you see people? I'm like, cause I'm looking. So, um, we went to this conference, um, Ah, I can't even remember where it was. Anyways, out in the middle of nowhere, Arizona or something. And a bunch of people from the conference, it was nighttime. We were having dinner and stuff. And there was this big restaurant place. And it was, we were out on the patio. And then there was another place, a couple, couple of uh, blocks down or not blocks, but it was a little ways away. And so all of us are talking. And then I just happened to look up and look over. And I see Martin Short and Eugene Levy walking out of this other place. And I was like, so I didn't say anything to anybody. And then I looked over there and when they got closer, cause they were walking by, I said, we love you guys. And so Martin Short was in a hurry. So he walked, he waved and then he walked past and Eugene Levy actually came up and talked to us. And he is so nice. I love him. And so he actually said, I was so Twitter pated that I wasn't even able to respond, but he looked at us and he said, so what's my favorite, you know, what's your favorite thing that I've been in? And best of show is bar none, my favorite. Shit's Creek is funny, but some of the older stuff he did was amazing. So of course, another guy is like Shit's Creek. And then I just was so 
enamored that I couldn't even say anything. So it just, I don't know that I'll never forget that. It was really cool that he actually came over and talked to us because he could have just, you know, been like, eh, yeah, bye. So anyways, <laughs> you guys are just like, like, what is she talking about? Hey, Mia, it's so good to see you, girl. It's so good to see you. I hope that things are going well. Um, I was just telling them earlier that I don't go to lives and stuff on YouTube that much. But every once in a while, when I'm kind of just looking around in there to watch something, I'll see uh, your thing, you know, coming up, Mia. And I'm like, oh, so I think about you. I miss you. I hope things are going good. You still need to message me with some um, authors because, you know, I love the Scandinavian and, and Norwegian um crime fiction books. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, see, Christopher is with me. Yes. Okay. So Emma and Laura are both saying Schitt's Creek. I think it's funny, but I don't know. I Maybe it's one of those things where if you watch enough episodes, then, you know, it, it grows on you more. I just thought it was okay. I mean, all the characters are funny and I love... Um, See, I told you I'm having a brain fart. What's her name? The the wife, his wife in it. I love her. She's, I think she's gorgeous. She's gracie, uh, ace, aging gracefully. And she's funny in everything she does. Uh, <laughs> Laura, you and Emily are like this. <laughs> All right, help me out with the, the actress. Because Eugene Levy just got his star on the walk of fame and she was there too. And I, I can't remember her name. I want to say Madeline, Madeline. I, oh, I can't remember her name. She's amazing. She's amazing. If I had a picture of her, then you would know who I'm talking about. Ah, Mia says, thank you. I'm thinking about you too. <laughs> Catherine O'Hara. Thank you, Christopher. You can laugh at me because that was dumb. I, uh, I, I could not remember her name. I love her. I think she's amazing. And they're a good couple too. Yes. Yes. Melanie, Catherine O'Hara. She is just, I love everything about her. And I was so happy that, um, Eugene got the, got the star on the walk of fame. That's so cool. Um, Oh, Laura, go feel better. I miss you, girl. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, just get to feeling better. I'll I'll try to reach out and see how you're doing in a couple of days. Let me know if you need anything. All right. I love you. Thank you so much, Michelle. I really appreciate it. I love my dad. He's one of my favorite people. So. All right. What time is it? Man, y'all. I'm just talking and talking and talking. You can tell I've been talking a lot because my water is pretty low. And Shay always gives me crap about how she's like, I know you just have to drink and drink whenever you do a live. I'm like, you have no idea how dry my mouth is. My ADHD medication, it's so terrible. I always have to like drink water or something. And even my eyes are dry. Like my contacts get so dry. It's ridiculous. So I always have drops. I don't know. Maybe you have the same thing. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, let's see. Sarah says, I love Schitt's Creek. Dan Levy is amazing. Um, love Eugene as well. The whole cast is excellent. Really, they do. They have a pretty spectacular cast. Oh, okay, Melanie. She says, Catherine O'Hara is in the new movie, Argyle. I think I've heard of that, but I'll be honest. I don't know what it's about. Um, I kind of have just gotten to where... I'm lazy. I don't really like going to the movies that much. I miss the movie theater popcorn, but people are just a-holes. I mean, I don't know. If if you can watch something in the comfort of your own home and you can pause it and go to the bathroom or go get a snack or whatever, I don't know. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Mindy, Mindy, reach out to me. She says, I don't even know what some of this stuff is on your website. <laughs> <laughs> it, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And, and I tell people, you don't need all the, the things. <clears throat> when I worked at Mac, um, we didn't get commission, but you better bet your butt that they were paying attention to how many things you sold and 
you know, keeping the statistics of everybody that worked there. And so one of the things that was a rule that I'm sure probably still is, is you need to sell in threes. So it doesn't matter what the three things are. If somebody buys an eye primer and a lipstick and a blush, there you go. If they buy three lipsticks, there you go. So um, <clears throat> people would always come in and say, you know, yeah, well, I want to look at this. And I tried to show them stuff. And of course, I would try to, to see if they needed three things. But I don't know, maybe it's the, you know, my values or integrity or whatever. If somebody didn't need something, I'm not going to recommend it. If they're looking for something new to try, that's one thing. But just to sell them everything. It's like when I do a makeup lesson, I'll be like, girl, if you get this, you probably don't need that. Because I always like to give people so many more options. I'm like, I'm going to confuse you a little bit, but then I, I type up everything, all the instructions and I send it to you. So if you want to put it up on your mirror or whatever you want to do, you've got everything there and you can always ask me, you know, do I need this? Is this good? So don't be confused. Don't be confused. If you have questions, holler at me. Uh, love Argyle. Okay. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, Emma, I'm telling you. I mean, if you've got a couch, if you can kick your feet up, whatever, it's so nice to be at home. And I actually did, because I love um, movie theater popcorn with all the butter so much, I've actually looked up and there are recipes of how you can make your own. And it's so weird because I think what they say is to put like a little bit of coconut oil. There's some different stuff that makes it taste like that. Because anytime that I go to the movie theater, I just say... Fill it up halfway, put butter in there, make it gross, and then put some more and put some more butter. And then I'm like, make it gross. So Carl's always like, oh, my gosh. I mean, it, it's disgusting how much of that crappy, oily butter stuff I like on my popcorn. It's nasty. <laughs> uh, lately, I've been watching Why Women Kill. Well, I could answer that question. No, I'm just kidding, Carly. <laughs> Is this a true crime thing? Because you know I'm not into the true crime. I just like the fiction. But if it's good, oh, Mindy, she said, I got the cream. I think you'll really like it. And if you have questions, let me know. But seriously, just get a little bit on your hands. It doesn't take a lot. And you can dot if you want to, but just sort of press it in your skin, move around, especially the areas that are dry, the eyebrows around there, all of that. Just put a little bit on there. I know I get still kind of get dry here. It's like I've got a little bit of the oily but I'm always really dry there. So I'll put some there. Uh, <laughs> Mia, <laughs> I have almost absolutely no idea how to do makeup. That's okay. Don McCreary, what's going on, lady? It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Yes, Emma, it's cheaper too. I mean, obviously the food, you don't have to worry about sneaking it into the movie theater if that was your thing, but you know, you're not paying $16 for a movie for the most part, even if it's a new movie. Um, what's that one that I want to see? Something Creatures. Um, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, and Emma Stone's in it. See, Emma and Emma, you just reminded me. I want to see that. It looks kind of bizarre, but I kind of like it. So it's like $6 to, you know, view it here in my home instead of 16 or whatever. Uh, let's see the eyebrows girl. No, it's on Netflix. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go check it out. <laughs> Gail, same hashtag teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, everybody's saying, Hey to Dawn. Dawn, you're so popular. We love you. It's so good to see you in here. I love it. I love it. Um, there's a guy that's on, Kel, you reminded me of this guy that I like, Inappropriate Humor. Um, his handle is the Chris Army, like like Christopher Colossa, like Koala Bear. Um, it's Chris, the Chris Army. And he's this guy that has kind of this white beard. And you can tell that he's just standing on the balcony of maybe his apartment or whatever. And he always has some smart ass thing to say. And he's looking straight at the camera and then he looks off and he has like a bucket hat on. And then the more, you know, thing with the rainbow comes up and he said something about something about um, there's no I in team. 
And then he goes, you know, well, they should effing put it in there or something like that. It's really funny. You'll have to go look him up. If you like inappropriate things, he has a lot of really good stuff on there. But it's so funny because he's just kind of, you know, looking at the camera and talking to you. And then he just looks off. And then the more you know, should come up. <laughs> oh, he's so good. He's so good. Ah, bye, Mindy. She's got to go get some groceries. Poor things. That's what it's called. Thank you, Melanie. I don't know why my brain just, I don't know. These things happen. They say stress causes you to, to forget things. And I think that's where I'm at. <laughs> uh, Frankenstein thing. What? Melanie. Emma Stone and poor things. Frankenstein thing. Yeah, poor things is what I'm talking about. Are you making fun of me or is there really something called Frankenstein thing? <laughs> hey, Clint, how are you? Troy Clint, what a good name. Yes, Kel, he does. The Chris Army, he's got such a serious face. I bet he's really cool in person. I've actually bookmarked a lot of his things because he, some people give him crap about some of the stuff he says, but he's just so authentic and real and it's just crazy stuff that he comes up with. He, I think he's actually a stand-up comedian and he does clubs and things like that, but He's really good. I like him and I like um, it's it's a coincidence that I'm you can call me butter. And this guy is called um, Butterworth, the uh, Butterworth, the syrup, the syrup, something like that. He is so funny. I know I've sent Kel and some of these other people uh, I'm good friends with like little cl clips of his Butterworth, the syrup. Yeah. And he's this like. I don't know, army Navy dude. Uh, and he does a lot of different things. There's one gal, I don't know who she is, but she'll get a uh, fruit, you know, a pineapple or a cucumber or an orange and she'll hold it up and then she'll slice it. She'll say, you know, orange and she'll slice it. Cause I don't know where she's from. And then she'll start putting different things in it, you know, coffee, coffee. I don't know how she says it. And she pours coffee down in the pineapple. And then she'll say coconut milk because she's talking about coconut milk. And so he's sort of mimicking what she does and he's spilling it everywhere. It's so funny. Um, the other thing that the way that I found him was there'll be these um, ladies from the UK or somewhere else. It'll be like a sexy lady dressed really nice. And she's talking about a specific car, a Mercedes or something like that. And so they have fingernails and they'll go up to it and they'll say, they'll they'll click on it and do kind of an ASMR thing. And then they'll say Mercedes. And they have like this little microphone and they whisper into it. And then maybe they go down where the wheels are and they t -t 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 tap on it, you know, Mercedes. And so he has this tank because he's in the army or the Navy or whatever. And um, he goes up to it and just with his hands, he just starts slapping around the, the screws and stuff on the wheel. It's so funny. It's so funny. I'm just saying, you got to go check him out. I follow him. He's good. There's a lot of different people. That's what I love Instagram for is just, I don't know. It's quick and easy. And so many people do reels. I love it. Yes, April. That's right. I showed one of those videos to the girls and then Jenny was trying to make me laugh. And she actually came up with her own version of his version of the girl showing the car. It's hilarious. I don't know if Jenny has it on her Instagram. Um, does she, April? If she does, you should go watch it. It's hysterical. I can't remember what she say, you know, van or something. And she opens it up. Jenny is the best. I love her. <laughs> uh, yes, he does have a serious face. Oh, I, I already told you that. The, the guy with the bucket hat. Emma Stone is brought back to life in that movie. Oh, that's right. So is that the premise of it? Sometimes I try not to look too much at new movies that come out. So I see what you're saying now, Melanie. It's about her learning to live. Okay, okay. Hi, April P. She says, I'm driving and listening, but it's good to see you, Randy. It's good to see you too, April. Be safe. Be driving safe. Don't do anything crazy. Don't, you know, if you want to watch, you got to pull over. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kel says, yes, the ASMR on the vehicles. He's done tanks, choppers, et cetera. Yeah, he does. And he's so funny. And then there's a really quick um, 
reel or clip that he's done before, like when he first started out, the the Army Navy dude. And I, forgive me, I don't know the difference. So he's one of those things. He's like a soldier. Um, and he has a, a little film like clip thing of him and it says without filter and then he has like an air conditioner filter and he pulls it in the front and it says with filter it's so cute you just have to i don't know you have to see it I, i'm not explaining it good if you go look him up he's really really good let's see yeah dawn says she's seen it and it's hysterical yes april that was hilarious oh girl i spend too much time on those ig reels i know and there are a couple guys too um that do compilations and it's like this guy standing there and he has a serious face and maybe if it's like the bowling one is so good they'll take a bunch of things that happen at bowling alleys like clips you know that are probably somewhere already on the internet and what they'll do is maybe the guy will be standing like he's in a bowling alley and he looks to his side and there's one guy that takes his bowling ball and just chucks it and then another guy is copying him and he chucks the bowling ball and it hits the large flat screen tv and it busts and then the guy kind of looks over and it's something else all these different things happen and it's really pretty funny i think a lot of people do it but there are two guys that i like specifically that do that and of course, anything fart jokes. Elizabeth sends me all kinds of stuff. I know a lot of y'all are like, you're disgusting. But um, the ones that I like the most are uh, when somebody farts at the chiropractor when they adjust them. Uh, when people fart at the gym, because there's some really funny stuff there. Um, <laughs> what else? I'm trying to think. There's a lot of different things, but those are kind of my favorite things. I, there's some stuff where it's like people are farting on their pets and stuff. I don't know. That just doesn't do anything for me. That's kind of gross. Um, and then probably the most inappropriate one that I was surprised that I laughed, but I never even knew it was possible. There are two different ones I've seen where, uh, like a nephew or something like that is, at a house with his grandparents and maybe the lady y'all are gonna hate me maybe the lady has an oxygen tank <laughs> and so there's one where <laughs> there's one where the the kid walks by and he's like you know grandma thank you so much i had a wonderful christmas and she's got her her little oxygen thing on she's like oh you're welcome i'm so glad you liked it and you can see he's filming it and he's walking and oh i don't want to trip on the hose i don't want to trip on the hose and he goes down into the other room and he farts really loud. And then I'm assuming it's either his dad or brother is like, you know, that's really mature. And he does it into the oxygen tank. And then she starts coughing and stuff. And it's it's horrible, but it's so funny. I never thought that I would laugh at something like that. I've seen two and they're <laughs> just I can't. And if somebody's ever done that to you, that is not OK. It's not OK. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I did see D Jenny doing her van like that. It was so funny. What's that funny guy's name? Um, hang on and I'll tell you. Uh, let's see. Why do I have so many? I have so many notifications. All right. Hank, give me two seconds here and I'll show you. Oh, Oh, Elizabeth put a posted something on Instagram. I'll have to watch it. She says, send help. Um, he usually comes up when I'm scrolling. Let me look. I know I've got him on here. Are you talking about the ones, the Chris Army, but um, the other ones? There he is. Oh, Butterworth because his last name he's his name is Tyler Butterworth and so it's called Butter Butterworth DA syrup Butterworth the syrup this is him he's so good and then oh the Chris Army he's got two new posts this is the Chris Army And I'm trying to think who else like I 
just love. Hold on, hold on. Let me see who I have saved in here. Um, oh, there's this one guy too that's talented. I'm fixing to go, y'all. I see it's four. Um, there's this one guy and he dances like a robot and he's freaking amazing. He looks like he's not even real, but he's so good. You see that? I don't know. He's really talented. There's just random stuff that I like to watch. And then like this guy does a lot of the ones where he's looking with the serious face. And so does this guy. There's just, I don't know. There's just different stuff that I think is funny and some people might not. So if you look at it and you don't like it, then <laughs> I, uh, zero luck's given. All right, guys. I love you. It's good to see you. I can't believe that I talked to you for two hours, but thank you. It's been amazing. And I love you guys. Uh, Michelle's got to go soon. That's okay. April's laughing or April's shocked. Mia's laughing. Um, whoops. All right, Mutt Nuts, I'm going to leave. So if you're already gone and you come back, then I'm going to be gone. Melanie, she says, Elizabeth is, blah, blah, blah. Elizabeth is standing in the bathroom line at Bucky's. Y'all, Bucky's is just like a big old gas station. I know everybody loves it, but it's usually really crowded. So I don't know. Hey, thank you. Dipping Time, Mutt Nuts, Morgana, Carol, um, Billy. Love you too, guys. All right. I'm going to let you go and have a good rest of the day. Bye.